This is a brief overview of General Ledger Online. General Ledger Online is a web-based implementation of the classic General Ledger. In this presentation, we will go through a typical accounting cycle to demonstrate various features of General Ledger Online. General Ledger Online is based on standards. If you know double entry bookkeeping, you already know how to use General Ledger Online. Since the system is web-based, it is internet accessible from anywhere and from any device. Multiple users with their own permissions can access the system. You may conveniently share your books with your accountant or tax preparer. The system is automatically backed up and is built on a solid infrastructure. The system is affordable. You can try the system for five dollars and if you like what you see you can continue the subscription or you may cancel at any time. An accounting cycle consists of several activities. The very first activity a business must do is to define its accounting period. It must also establish the chart of accounts that it uses to record its business activity. Enter beginning balances for the real accounts. Record transactions throughout the year. Prepare financial statements. Close the nominal accounts and transfer the balances to real accounts. And then continue the cycle again for the next year. We will begin first by defining an accounting period in General Ledger Online. To get started, we'll create an accounting period. Our accounting period starts on the 1st of January of 2012 and ends on December 31st of 2012. We set this accounting period as our default period. So we press this switch to link. So now we know as we record the general entries, they will be recorded to this accounting period. Since this is our first year of operation, we'll need to establish chart of accounts, which is available under the accounts tab. Press the create new link, enter the account number, select the account type and press create. Now we have created one account called cash of type asset. It is also possible to import accounts After import, I have my whole set of accounts I will be using to record transactions for my company. Next, we will be recording the beginning balances for these accounts for the year 2012. Under the General Journal tab, press the Beginning Balance link and I'm presented with the journal entry screen. I've entered the beginning balances for the accounts. And I'm ready to post it. In the general journal, I see the beginning balance journal entry posted now. Let's record some transactions as the year goes by as business transactions occur, we are going to make transactions in the general journal. Here I press the normal transaction button 
and I'm going to go ahead and enter some um, amounts for the transaction. In this transaction, I'm recording sales of widgets. I receive cash of ten dollars. The cost of goods being sold is eight dollars. The sales are being increased by ten dollars, and the inventory is being reduced by eight dollars. Go ahead and press post. And now I see a general entry here. If I wanted to see all the amounts posted to the inventory account, for example, I would go to accounts and go to the inventory account and press ledger. Here I see an initial amount of 400 and another reduction of the eight dollars worth of inventory I just made and it gives me a total running balance a current balance of 392 creating financial statements in general ledger online is a snap just go under statements if you press the income statements link you get the income statement for the period here we as you recall recorded ten dollars for the sale ten dollars in cost of goods sold with a net income of two dollars. Similarly we can go to the balance sheet and as we see we have total assets of seven hundred two dollars and total liabilities and equity of seven hundred two dollars. One thing to note here is the current earnings line here which says a two dollars income for the current year. Once we close the nominal accounts into real accounts this line will disappear and be closed into retained earning as we will see shortly under the statements we also have trial balance which gives you a listing of all the accounts and their debits and credits and a cross footing of 960 to demonstrate all the entries are in balance To make a closing entry, we go to the general journal and press the closing entry link, period closing entry link. And here we want the date to be the last day of the year, assuming that's when we are closing. And that's generally when you close at the end of the year. Here the system is already summarizing all your sales, all the expenses and then this is your net income which will be closed into retained earning now we'll make a note here closing entry and we press post general entry to make the closing entry after the closing entry all the nominal account balances have been closed into the real account so if we go under trial balance you'll notice here all the sales and expense accounts do not have a balance they have been closed into the equity account similarly if we go and look at the balance sheet the current earnings line is gone and that amount has been now closed into retained earning now we have a fully closed balance sheet for the year 2012. At this point all our financial statements have been finalized and we are now ready to move on to the next year. In the next year we will be making the beginning balance entries for the real accounts which are in effect the ending balances of the year 2012. In General Ledger Online we can go ahead and retrieve those balances from the trial balance. If we go to the trial balance for, for the year 2012, we can press this generate beginning balance entry. Here I have the ending balances for the year 2012, which I can copy. And I will be able to use those to populate the beginning balances for the next year. Since we are starting a new year, 
we will have to go ahead and create a new period. So we go to the accounting periods, we create a new period, in this case we are going to 2013, press create and we do want to switch to 2013 since we already closed 2012, say switch to and 2013 becomes our current year. Go to general journal and I will go ahead and import the journal entry I copied from the last year containing the ending balances for 2012. Here are the balances. I will say import now. To make sure everything works properly, here it says total journal entries posted is 1. I can go to my statements, look at the trial balance, and it shows the balances, the ending balances from 2012 now posted as beginning balances for 2013 and now I go on and make the general entries throughout the year as we did in 2012. More information on General Ledger Online and double entry bookkeeping can be found at micro guru.com and thanks for watching